Well, actually, it's very difficult to uh, make predictions about uh, any quarters going forward. I think that uh, if you look uh, at the second quarter environment so far, it looks uh, more uh, uh, March. Uh, you know, for us, I have to say that uh, uh, January, February, and March were all uh, profitable months, uh, 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 including uh, um, uh, loan loss provisions. So I think that. Uh, uh, it's very important to stay agile, it's very important to stay flexible in the way you operate, staying close to clients, making sure that our people are safe and able to serve clients and uh, that's the reason why we are continue to invest in uh, technology to make sure that we can continue to respond to those uh, challenges. And Sergio, you reported uh, $12 billion of uh, net new money into the wealth management business over the quarter. Um, We've been used to, I think, seeing a lot of clients frozen with inactivity as they are confused about what to do given the impact on the global economy of COVID-19. Do you expect those inflows to continue to pick up as we go through Q2, Q3 as clients increasingly look for professional assistance? Yeah, we saw a huge pickup in uh, client engagement uh, despite uh, the logistical uh, uh, challenges. Uh, I, I, uh, we see that clients are more and more looking for advice. And, uh, and in that sense, uh, uh, if I look at uh, uh, our um, um, uh, investor survey, it clearly indicates that while clients are uh, uh, risk adverse uh, for the short term, they do plan they do plan to invest in the future. They are uh, uh, not planning to de-risk de or, 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 or sell down their exposures and actually they look for opportunities. Now, of course, uh, uh, not uh, all asset classes at this stage are, uh, are uh, the same. Uh, we see a lot of uh, value in credit, for example, uh, compared to maybe equities where valuation uh, are still uh, not reflecting fully um, you know, the, the current uh, macroeconomic uh, challenges. Sergio, very good morning to you. Uh, nine years now since you uh, joined UBS as well, and of course you, you will be leaving uh, and handing over to Ralph Harmers on the 1st of November. During that interim six-month period as well, how do you formulate strategy when you're leaving and he's incoming as well to have a longer-term strategy that both of you are happy with? Well, look, uh, uh, we, we have a very clear strategy and uh, which has proved to be uh, very successful over the years. And actually, probably, uh, you know, this quarter uh, you saw UBS performing at its best across any dimensions. So I think in times like this one, uh, uh, there is no real discussions about strategy changes. It's about uh, executing on our strategy, delivering to clients uh, uh, and delivering to our shareholders. Ralph uh, will join uh, in, um, in September. Uh, we're going to have a two months uh, end over and, uh, and then uh, uh, eventually uh, uh, any considerations will be taken there. But uh, as you can see, we have a pretty good uh, uh, strategy and we are quite able to deliver even in challenging times.